This week's Camogie Report podcast comes from St. Rhinos GA Club in Banagher County, Offaly, where Tipperary recorded a comprehensive victory over Offaly in their first group game of the Senior All Ireland Championship, winning on a final scoreline of 323 to 112. Tip Raw was in control and the result looked beyond doubt as early as the first half war break when they led 172 points with Orla Dwyer getting the first of her three goals after three minutes. At half time, the score read Tip 114 to Offaly six points. Offaly got the opening two points of the second half, but two goals in two minutes from Orla Dwyer put to, to put Tip firmly in the driving seat once again. Bill Milani got an opportunity to use his panel introducing five subs throughout the course of the game. Green Blair and L- Lorna Dwyer came into defence with Jean Kelly, Miriam Campion and Emer Heflin all getting on the scoreboard when introduced into the attack. The tip team started as named during the week, however there were some positional switches. Grace O'Brien operated at midfield where she was very effective while Orla Dwyer named at midfield was highly influential in attack. Green Blair was nearly a replacement from Ray Everson who was sick and adjusted well to wing back while also scoring a pint. In the end, it was job done for Tip and they now take on a Limerick uh, side this Sunday at home. Limerick having lost to Wexford will need a result against Tip and a huge bat- battle is expected. Best for Offaly was Money Gall and former Tipperary player Murray Tien who finished with 1-7 of her side's tally. Kate Kenny, Roshan Egan and Siobhan Flannery all pointed, but it wasn't enough to trouble Tip on the day. Other scores for Tip were Eamon McGrath, 2 points, Grace O'Brien got a pint, uh, Caught Devan finished with 9 points, Nicole Walsh a pint, Gloda McIntyre also got a pint, as did Arena Friday, Jean Kelly and Emer Heflin, while Miriam Campion had 2 pints after being introduced. After the match, I caught up with Orla Dwyer, Tipperary coach Jenny Ferncombe and Offaly manager Susan Erner for their post-match reactions. I'm here now by Orla Dwyer. Orla, 3-3 in, your, in the opening game of the All-Ireland Senior Championship. A great start for you and for Tim. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we were really excited coming into this game and we knew that Offaly played them in the league would, would, would give us a good, um, tough match as well. But conditions here have been, have been so hard for both teams as well. But you know, delighted with the girls and I think we really clicked and, and worked well. So yeah, looking forward to next week. And it must have been hard there today, the heat and you know even for yourself and Ocean playing football there yesterday. Um, recovery will be important now for the next few days. What, what will that be like for the next 48 hours? Yeah, definitely. I think it's just the main things about getting to pools, getting to water and kind of just just keeping on top of that and stretching and, and foam rolling too but look it was hot for um, the other teams as well and we're expecting another hot week so I think really focusing on recovery um, to be ready for next week is, is really important. And Wexford and Limerick look to have a, had a great game yesterday. Uh, Wexford overcoming Limerick. So even Limerick next weekend, they're needing a win. So that's going to be a huge game. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think Limerick have always been tough to play and there's always nothing between us and them. So it'll, it'll be a tough battle and um, we're going in now expecting a, a good, tough match. So looking forward to it. But I think the big thing now is just recovering for the week and, and resetting again and not focusing too much on the Offaly win, but being ready for next week. And I think um, all the subs that came in all contributed uh, from play and on the scoreboard. So that's the competition for places ahead of the next two games. Yeah, definitely. And, and that's what makes it um, so enjoyable too, knowing that everyone's keeping each other on their toes. And there was plenty more girls that could have came in. But like of Jean and Miriam coming in there and, and racking up some scores is really needed. And everyone knows that the sport isn't just 15 um, players. It's a whole panel of 30, 30 plus even. And everyone else involved. So it's, it's a big, it's a big um, team match. And... Hopefully, um, more girls will get more runs next week, and we can we can really push it on. And uh, I suppose you're playing a bit close to the goals there today, and you got the three goals, so you must be delighted that even missed one in the in the first <laughs> half. So not every day you get a hat trick there in championships, so you must be happy with that. <laughs> yeah, I know definitely, and I think um, I'm. Uh, really happy with it and even just the link up with the forwards has been working really well and everyone's really given it to the player in the best position and the movement of everyone on the field ha- has been phenomenal and yeah I think just keep working on that and trying to be as clinical as we can in front of the goals and um, I know that that's um, a big thing we're trying to work on as well making sure we take them goal chances when they come so yeah I know great team effort and um, hopefully now next week we can do the same. And I suppose the weather probably not affecting you as much after your stint in, in, in Australia. So do you like playing in hot days? Like I do, this, yeah. Or? Yeah, I love the heat now compared to the rain. But um, oh no, I still felt it out there again. It was a long, a long match and yesterday was the same. Um, but I'm, I'm sure everyone's feeling the same. But yeah, no, it's been great. And hopefully another nice weekend next week. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Orla. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Joined now by coach Dini Farncon. Dini, a uh, great win. You must be happy with that. Yeah, look, it's a great start to the campaign. This is the... This was the area that we were focusing on getting to 
Um, you go back through the league games and the practice matches that we would have had, it was all about getting to this stage and these three weeks in a row and just trying to, trying to get the performance together so that we can get to the, the knockout stages later on in the year. Um, look, the girls in huge, tough conditions today. It was extremely hard to keep going, but just the way we've been trying to go with the, the, the process and what we're always talking about, they just they, they went by the measure of the law and they just done what they needed to do to get over the line again today and the, the, their performance was top class. And I think the start was crucial, um, an early goal there, I think after four minutes from Orland. I suppose you controlled the game after that. Did you always feel like you were in control? Um, yeah, it, it, we, once we got a good start, I suppose coming into all of these games, we're always focusing on big starts. You know, I would, the way the games are going now, you're, you're at your, your quarter of an hour. Every quarter of an hour is what matters. So we're only ever looking at the moment in the game that we're focusing on. So it's the first 15 minutes to start with. And we're just trying to take everything, everything out of their heads in terms of everything else, you know, that they can control the stage that they're at the moment that they're in. And they start the game well, and we got that start today, and we just didn't look back. And uh, extremely hot there, there today, and I suppose Limerick now at home next weekend. Recovery will be crucial. What, what would be the key for the next 40 hours? Oh, well, sure, look, we're, we're big into all of that. Like, at the minute, it's just, it's... It's hydration, it's nutrition, it's sleep, and those are the those are the three big areas to focus back in. You know, we're we're, we're advising like, you know, getting getting into the water now this evening again, and just just trying to get the muscles um the muscles recovered so that we can get back to the field and do another little bit of work on Tuesday night so that we can prepare for Limerick next weekend, which is going to be a massive massive battle. Like Limerick came on the back of a defeat to Wexford yesterday, so. Um, they're they're going to have their their tails up and they're going to be co they're going to be gunning for us next weekend because they have to get it, they have to get something out of it to stay in the championship. So we have to be we have to be ready for a serious battle there, and that starts by the second we come away from this field today, getting the bodies right to go again. And um, it must have been happy enough. Uh, subs come on there, five subs come on, all played well, got on the scoreboard. I suppose this may, that makes your panel. Uh, very competitive and your job even harder again the next day picking the team oh absolutely like we're going to have a headache for the week now trying to pick a team that's going to suit the, the Limerick game like we, we we have a panel but it's what we have is we have starters and finishers and everybody seems to have bought into that idea that look if you're not in on the first 15 you know you're, you're ready to come in and you're ready to take over from somebody that has just emptied the tank and go finish the job for us like so we're, we're blessed that we've, we we could only get five in today we'd love if we could have got ten in because people are putting their hands up in training and we're just we're, we're finding it hard to, to, to get the right feet, right players on the field at times because you know, the, the work that they're putting in it's there's, there's disappointed players going away that they didn't get onto the field today so you know it's maybe their chance will come next weekend and we have we have a strong panel like very good thanks very much Denise. Uh, joined now by uh, Offaly manager Susan Erner. Susan, different, difficult start to the campaign. Are your thoughts after the match? Yeah, look, when we came in, we kind of we knew we were anticipating a really tough battle, um, but I didn't, I suppose, expect the scoreline that was that did happen. Um, look, it just showed Tipperary are hugely clinical. They're really good finishers and. They had forwards running left, right and centre and I suppose our decision making in the back so we weren't really prepared for the handovers and and then on the opposite side we weren't really clinical ourselves so you know we missed our own goal chances and a couple of points as well but uh, look we have to kind of pick ourselves up and um, it's kind of like a deja vu moment from the league we've had them in the league as well and it's kind of similar feeling but uh, we have two big challenges ahead now next week against uh, Wexford and Limerick and we just look that's all part of the game we just have to pick ourselves up again. Um, I thought maybe in the league, you know, you started better and I thought maybe the scoreline didn't reflect the game in the league, but I suppose the slow start today, you know, you give yourself a big challenge, you know, but I suppose conditions and all that were all part to play that. Yeah, the first 20 minutes we were just not at the races at all. Um, sure, we think we were down 10 or 11 points before we even knew it and sure, when that happens to any team, it's very hard to claw back. We did come back to 7 or 8, I think, and I, I thought at half time we would have pushed on, but... Uh, Tip just got the two goals and sure that just separated the sides big time. But um, yeah, just things now we have to keep working on. Yeah, we're just we'll be disappointed with that. But yeah. it's just the norm really. And Limerick and Wexford still to come uh, in the group. It's a tough group, but um, you know, there's suppose nothing between ye and Limerick and Wexford down um, through the years. Yeah, like we'd hope not. We played Wexford last year and I think they beat us by two points in the last round. Um, and you look, we, we'd hope that we're all going to be really competitive. Um, and look, we just have to take every game as it comes now. We don't know what will happen the next day and we don't know what will happen against Limerick, but we'll uh, go out to try our best anyway. And I suppose this is your first year in as manager of um, 
awfully come over your loads of experience I suppose playing from your Galway days but you know you look like you have a good setup around you very professional setup and I suppose it's all development as well yeah look it's all about bringing the girls on um, I suppose they had a lot of uncertainty over the last little while in and um, unfavourable kind of position they were putting unfavourable positions over the last while in but um, yeah look we do have a good setup and they are learning there's loads of coaching going on and things like that and uh, I suppose it's just where we have to bring them now. We have to really just refocus them now on Tuesday. <clears throat> there is more ability. Like I have full belief in that bunch of girls. Um, like I don't think that they've probably displayed as much skill and as much fight as they should have. But uh, look, we'll just have to go again. Thanks very much, Susan. And no best the rest of the year. A huge weekend for Tipperary Camogie, both the seniors and intermediates in action in the All Ireland Championship. On Saturday, the 24th, Tipperary travelled to Kerry to take on Kerry. Time and venue to be confirmed. That is in their opening game of the All Ireland Championship. A huge game. They'd be looking to reverse the result of, of um, when both these sides mesh in the league. So um, Tipperary, on the back of a great win in the Munster Championship, will really be hoping to get their All Ireland series off to a winning start uh, against Kerry. That's on Saturday, the 24th. Then on Sunday the 25th, uh, the Tipperary senior team hosts Limerick uh, in the second group game of the All-Ireland Senior Championship. So again, a huge game. Limerick will be badly in need of a win after losing to Wexford in their opening game. Tipperary will be looking to uh, get two wins on the trash. Um, so that's a vital game. Uh, time and venue to be confirmed. So keep an eye out on Tipperary social media for all the date or the throw-in times and the venues for those two games. Um, hope you enjoyed this week's podcast. If you did, be sure to give us a like and um, subscribe to our YouTube channel.